How many want to go? Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. When you hold yes. your hat, when there's nothing yes. left to do, yes. we can be on our way home. Yes. Only yes. if we follow yes. our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I give honor to God on today. He's first in my life. It's a joy to see everyone under the sound of my voice. You didn't have to come this way on this morning, but since you did, let's enjoy the Lord in unity and beauty and in holiness on today. I give honor to my beautiful wife. I give honor to our leaders at Coast Chapel Field Baptist Church. I give honor to our guests and all these musicians. Doing yeah. Awesome yeah. Awesome. yeah. And, yes, you. And, and I need to get someone's attention on today. I need to make sure that uh, I pay attention to what I'm doing up here because Sister Charlotte is watching me. <laughs> so so, so, so y'all pray for me, okay? <laughs> Let's go into a word of prayer. Oh, hey, you're righteous, God. Here I am. Simple country boy. Standing in the need of a touch from you on today. Lord, I ask now that your will be done as I surrender my will completely unto you. And Lord, touch my mind, my heart, and my spirit. Touch it in such a way, Lord, to where it resonates. And it touch everyone under the sound of my voice. Yeah. Please give us a word, God, to live by. So that we may make it through the processes of life. So that we may continue to press towards the mark of the higher calling. And Lord, please let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Brothers and sisters, we thank God for a new year. Yes, Lord. Because in a new year, we get a new start. God is so precious with his mercies. They're renewed every day. But at this time of the year, businesses are busy at the end of the year taking inventory. This is a painful but necessary reality so that they can know if they made a profit or not. They take that information they receive and they make adjustments for the coming year. Where are you going this past the service? Bear with me for a moment. As Christians, we need to stop at the end of the year and measure our progress. We need to check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. Sometimes, this is a very painful thing to do. I want you to take an inventory of your life. When you were saved, Jesus stopped you in your tracks. Jesus saved you and he sent you on your life's mission. Are you abiding by that mission on today? Every year, if we live to see it, a new year begins, and we receive another opportunity to take an inventory of the past year. If you, brothers and sisters, if you have it all together, and you've arrived spiritually, then this message is simply not for you on today. If the truth be told, none of us have arrived spiritually, so please don't try to fool yourself. You are not perfect, only one is perfect, and that is God, children of the living God, brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost and dwell saints of God. I have made mistakes in the past, and I'm sure that you have made those mistakes too. But you see, I have learned from my mistakes. Have you learned from your mistakes? Look, a foolish person is a person who keeps doing the same thing over again, thinking they will get different results. Surely there are no foolish people in this place on today. Brothers and sisters, we are not perfect. We are not where we want to be, but by the Lord's grace and mercy, we are moving forward in the right direction. Are you moving forward in the right direction? I need you to get with me on today because we come to celebrate God in this place. This is a new year. We come to exalt his name. We come to exalt his name, and we come to lift up the name of Jesus, so sit back, relax, put on your head, don't put on your head, gear, put on your ears, and listen to what God is about to say. Can you get with me in celebrating God on today? Before we get started, can we magnify God in this place on today?
keep pressing towards the mark. You have to forget those things which are behind and reach for those things which are before. Can I get a witness? You have to press towards the prize of a higher calling. You cannot agonize over forgiving sins. God has forgiven you and you have another chance to improve on your past performances. I've got to get excited in here. I can't be like a days ago. I've got to let it all hang out because I need a spirit and energy of the Holy Ghost in this place. Ignorant and a hypocrite. You need to check yourself. 
yourself before you wreck right. yourself if you are manipulative and backbiting. Brothers and sisters, if you have any of these character falls, then God is telling you to take this opportunity of a brand new year and do a reset. <laughs>
is. Uh, he's more than likely going to somebody's house and collecting taxes. Uh, and they paid the taxes. They said this is what it was last year. <laughs> he said it's gone up uh, almost 10, uh, almost twice that much. Uh, and they can't do anything about it. They got to pay the taxes. And when you saw the devil, the devil keeps increasing your taxes. And you got to pay those taxes. He see, brothers and sisters, he coats it. Uh, he makes it look good at first. Uh, and then it's an super amount of money <laughs> that you got to pay for it. And to your family, you pay your soul. Uh, you got to have it. Uh, he has you where he wants you. He has the kids exactly where he wants the kids. But something is pulling on the inside. Uh, there's a conflict going on with the kids. Uh, something on the outside uh, is working against something on the inside. Uh, if there's something on the inside uh, working on the outside, uh, trying to get your mind, trying to get your attention, then there's a spiritual battle going on. Uh, Zacchaeus was in a spiritual battle. Uh, so Zacchaeus was drawn to Jesus. Uh, he had heard what Jesus had done uh, to everybody else. Uh, he had heard the impact uh, that Jesus had on others' lives. Uh, so Zacchaeus was excited. Uh, the glow of God uh, and the light of God is drawing Zacchaeus uh, out of darkness. And God is saying in 2024, uh, his light is going to draw you uh, out of what darkness the enemy has you in. Uh, God is saying uh, that the enemy has taken some things. Uh, and it's time to take those things back uh, I'm tired of the devil, always in my Kool-Aid, staring it up without no sweet. Brothers and sisters, I, I'm going to take back my joy. I'm going to take back my happiness. I'm going to take back my finances. I'm going to take back my relationships. I'm going to take back my relationship with God. Thank you, Jesus. You see, here Jesus is, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Everything uh, cannot lie. Word cannot return void. Uh, what he says has to be. Uh, not the son of man that he should lie. Uh, step out of glory uh, into his creation. Uh, he's walking down the road uh, to Jericho. Uh, the crowd is moving, my Lord is saying, uh, I've got to have him. Uh, I can't make it without him. Uh, I can't live without him. Uh, is there anybody in this? God is drawing the kids just like he drew me one day. I didn't know God in the pardon of my sin. But God's presence was in the place and God started to draw me. I didn't climb up a tree, brothers and sisters, but I fell down on my knees and I began to magnify. And I began to praise the Lord. Let me see if I can take this one home today. So let me finish my story. Here is the kids. He's in sin. He's abusing people. He is a wrongdoing person. He is ostracized in the public. Nobody wants to be around him. He's a backbiter and a liar. He's more than likely a drink too much. Uh, who knows what kind of parties he throw out. Uh, and Jesus is coming and everybody wants a touch uh, of the master's hand. Uh, everybody wants to be in his presence. Uh, because in the presence of the Lord uh, is all glory and happiness. Uh, and Jesus is walking. Uh, and brothers and sisters, uh, Zacchaeus runs. Uh, he can't get a picture of who Jesus is. Uh, nobody likes Zacchaeus. Uh, so he's a short man of little stature. More than likely, he was a little man uh, with a little man complex. Uh, so Zacchaeus uh, couldn't get in the presence of the Lord. Uh, and the people were not surely going to put him in God's presence. Uh, so as he tried to wiggle through, uh, they pushed him out of the way. Uh, as he tried to wiggle through, uh, no doubt they cast him to the ground. Uh, so this little man in stature uh, wanted to get close to the Lord. Uh, is there anybody in here that wants to get close to God? Oh, yes. Hey, hey. Everybody trying to get something uh, from Jesus Christ. Uh, what do you want from Jesus on today? Is it something just to glorify yourself uh, or is it something to glorify the kingdom? Because if you want it for yourself and self, uh, he ain't gonna give you anything. Uh, because the devil knows what you're gonna use it for. Uh, so the key is it's in this tree uh, and they are surrounding Jesus. Uh, and Jesus looks up uh, and he calls the key is by name. Uh, they didn't expect to hear that. Uh, and these truck folks are uh, they're looking around uh, and somebody come uh, who's in sin that needs a touch from God uh, who needs brothers and sisters uh, a way made uh, and they are upset with Jesus uh, because Jesus called him by his name uh, and 
was a personal thing for Jesus. Jesus knew that he needed something. Jesus had to tell him something. And Jesus said, this day, I'm going to your house. I'm going to die with you. And in 2024, Jesus is saying that I'm going to your house. I'm going to die with you. The kids wasn't upset about that thing. As a matter of fact, the kids didn't climb down the tree. The kids jumped out of the tree and he went into the house with the Lord. He didn't care what people said about him. He was a man of secular stature. It certainly wasn't church stature. And as the people were talking about him, he didn't care one thing what they said. He had to get what he had to get. And that was salvation. That was peace, joy, and happiness. That was a way being made through the desert. That was a bridge over troubled water. Hey, brothers and sisters, that was a door being opened. But Zacchaeus knew that he had a personal touch, that God had reached him on a personal level. And as they went into the house, God said to Zacchaeus, this day, salvation has come into your house. Zacchaeus knew he was wrong because the first thing that came out of his mouth was simply this. God, if there's anybody that I've wronged, then I want to return to them fourfold. And God, I'm thinking now, because you set me on the right path. You see, Zacchaeus went into the house of crook, but Zacchaeus came back out of the house straight. Zacchaeus went into the house stealing. But he came back out of the house giving. Uh, the kids went into the house dead. Uh, no. Came back out of the house with life everlasting. Uh, the kids yeah. went into the house uh, being hateful. But he came back out of the house with love. Uh, the kids went into the house taken. But he came back uh, with his problems resolved. Uh, the kids went into the house with pride. Uh, but he came out with humility. And God is saying uh, what going into the house is representing is going into to 2023 huh? and coming back into 2024. You see, I was a wretch and good. I wasn't fit to live or die. Huh? But God so fit to, to, to brothers and sisters to call me out of darkness huh? into the marvelous light. Huh? You see, when God wants to instruct you, uh, when God wants to talk to you, uh, God is going to call you into a private session. God talked to Moses. God talked to Abraham, but he talked to him on a personal basis. God talked to Moses, uh, but he talked to him on a personal basis. God talked to Joshua, but he talked to him on a personal basis. And God is talking to you. Uh, and what God is trying to say in here on today, I know about those skeletons in your closet. Uh, you need to check yourself out before you wreck yourself out. I know about the wrong that you've done. You need to check yourself out before you wreck yourself out. I know about your gossiping and your backbiting. You need to check yourself before you wreck yourself out. Brothers and sisters, I know about those skeletons. I can bring your closet out. All you got to do is listen to me and let me come into your house. Is there anybody under the sound of my voice? I feel like Jesus said, uh, behold the glory of God was upon him. Jesus 
because with God all things are possible. In the name of the blessed Holy Spirit. <laughs> 